hope you're doing well. You had a nice weekend and you managed to rest and you had a, you had a nice weekend and you, you relaxed and things. And uh, after last week, I think we kind of needed a relaxing weekend. And today is, it might be indicative of more chop uh, because at 8.20, I posted a screenshot and the indices were significantly red and the VIX was up quite a bit. 20 minutes later, it's completely flip-flopped. Now, the reason I'm telling you about this is because we've got a trade of the day and we need risk off. So currently the situation is, is that you wouldn't want to take the trade of the day because we're green on indices. We want risk off. OK, so if you were to take that particular trade setup, you'd want them to be this to be green, uh, red and you want the fix to be green. OK, so huge flip flop. Um, the dollar is puking and uh, the pound USD is rallying like crazy. And uh, technically bearish, sentimentally bullish. So uh, now another thing is that we've got an issue with the Effexium trading station. So I can't show you today's data. Uh, it says initializing and I've got it running on two computers and it's failing on both computers. This computer that I'm working on right now that you can see this, this is a slow PC. I ran it on my fast PC and it still doesn't load on that. So this is how we were, okay? So past tense on uh, Friday morning, I can't show you where we are today. And that's the first time we've not been able to show you the risk calculation for today. So it's quite frustrating. And uh, we don't know whether or not we're gonna be risk on or off because of the train station isn't loading. So I assume that they sold risk because we're rallying, okay? So that was that that logic there, okay? Uh, fix will be working, that's that's actually okay. But these cells here, they need me to manually populate and I can't manually populate if the terminal isn't loading. So uh, VIX will be worth watching. You can still check that the, this uh, this will have to change tomorrow if the FXM train station's working. If it's not, I don't know what we're gonna do. We're not gonna have a risk calculation, <laughs> which is like a huge deal for us in the Quasi DB. So, uh, Bubbles are a bit strange. Look where the pound is, but we rallied 100 pips off the lows of pound USD. Okay, so there's something weird going on. I don't really trust fully trusted moves right now. The trade of the day could be awful today because of that this logic, the risk flip-flop that we had. Um, if they continue to go green, then our trade of the day will be very poor. Okay, so a bit of a gamble at the moment. I probably wouldn't avoid, I think. Um, uh, the yields fell, but they rose at the 10 and the 30. And now the uh, the 12 and the two year have inverted. That's actually warranting more yield than the two year. So that's risk off. Um, but yet we're, you know, dollar is <laughs> puking. So I'm not sure what's going on. I think it might be there's some apprehension because of the CPI on Thursday and they're pumping price high in order to short on Thursday. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I can't show you today's, today being Monday, I can't show you that. Uh, but this is how we were on Friday. They had shorted the US 30 and they had shorted DAX and they had shorted EJ as well. Uh, but it's a bit of a shame I can't show you that data. Uh, this is the USD, completely going to change um, in 40 minutes since I populated this. Uh, this is completely flip-flopped, so uh, that's already old 40 minutes ago because the pound USD, we rallied 100 pips, 60-odd um, pips within the hour, the hour. So this is wrong now, right? This is how quickly things are moving. Uh, so uh, don't forget the big picture is that the dollar is strong, but it looks like we might be trying to make a comeback. GU is the weakest, uh, NU is the leader. So that's obviously changed now. We've rallied a great deal, uh, uh, probably a ridiculous amount already. So how legit it is, especially when we see the pound bubble, uh, you know, how we were on Friday. They were, they're long and they added long. So uh, yeah, it's a bit of a, bit of a um, quite a frustrating one actually. Now the trade of the day does, uh, we won risk uh, off. And currently, we looks like we're risk on, so um, it's not going to be a good signal. So be careful. And um, we might be significantly negative on that if we continue to rally on risk. So be very careful. 
uh, Patreon link there. Then there's the Telegram and Discord. So you're welcome to join. Uh, I can't show you any FXM train station charts. There's a technical issue. So um, would like to have shown you S&P. I'd like to have shown you the Dow and the DAX. And I'd like to have shown you gold as well, but I can't. Um, SLC update. So this is actually new. This is this is fresh data. This is how much the retail guys have shorted. Um, you know, EU, GU, NU. They've gone long dollar CAD, dollar Swiss. They went long on dollar yen by 1%, which isn't a massive deal, but they have gone long on it. And they shorted gold for three days in a row. And they really heavily shorted it. So this is update. This is, um, and this is uh, right, almost real time. It's like done 10 minutes ago. So it should be valid depending on when you're, when you're watching this video. Uh, one above on AU is probably likely because it's large and we're risk on. So we're probably going to probe that. I thought that'd be really cruel. And uh, this is how we stand. Well, this is how we were. So this is how we were um, 40 minutes ago. Okay. Right, significantly red, and then we flip flopped there. So we just basically just reversed. Basically, the VIX had just got uh, crushed. Uh, failure rate: the yen and the CAD are currently paying the retail guys, so they need to like perform a bit better. They need to reverse. So they sold CAD, but the price has come down, and they sold yen, and price has come down. So they're getting paid in yen, and they're getting paid in CAD. And um, we had a good week last week, it's 122 pips. Considering the huge amount of indecision, it's a good result. And we start week, week 95. We did have a pretty awful week there, um, but we had lots of indecision. And uh, you know, we're up quite a bit on the week, which isn't bad, um, but we're up a lot on the total as well. And this is week 95. I've got a feeling that this week's gonna be a bit bonkers. And we might wanna get that CPI data out of the way. And no signals from the QDB setup, so that's fine. I don't know if I trust these moves, you know. Um, it might just be a big stop hunt. Uh, quiet calendar, and then tomorrow's calendar is a little bit busier, and then it picks up Wednesday and Thursday, and then Thursday's got the CPI. So keep calm, all trade safely. Hopefully, we're about to give you a risk calculation tomorrow. Uh, if not, then we're going to have to have a rethink about what we're going to do. We could just, like... We could just maybe look at the VIX, do some VIX charts or something, or yeah, I'm not sure, because it's a huge component to the risk calculator. The bulletin is the risk calculation. So without that, how are we gonna know if we're gonna be risk on or risk off? So it's a big deal. So hopefully we get the trading station working tomorrow. It probably will work and uh, we'll have to wait and see. So have a good day, trade safely, and be careful. It looks like a bit of a casino out there at the moment. Um, yeah, we don't really know what's going to happen, do we? See, the fix is up and the S&P is up. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. So be careful and I'll see you guys tomorrow.